Experience pure Italian goodness. The real test of Italy. Italian lifestyle, Italian design, Italian culture in London. This is The Italian Factor, and I am Gabriella, your host, joining you in this journey of Made in Italy. Italian style. Quite fashionable. Very chic. Buongiorno. Italian people as being quite friendly, quite outgoing. They have a slower pace of life. Grazie, tutto bene. It is an amazing country. I think Italian food is really uh, uh, easy on the palate. Italians are definitely beautiful. Oh, for sure. Scarpe, shoes. Today we will talk about shoes, finally. It is my topic. I couldn't wait. Any woman or girl would want to be in my place today and to share this joy, which is not only limited to women, we have called Candace Fremder. Hi, Gabriella. Tell us, who are you and what do you do? So I'm an account director at 360 PR and I get to play with fashion brands all day, so I look after them from a public relations perspective. Why do you know about shoes? I've worked with shoes and fashion brands for about eight to ten years now, so I've got a lot of uh, experience with footwear, and also I'm a girl, so I just love, I love shoes. <laughs> As any woman. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and how was your passion for shoes born? Because mine started when I was three years old. I remember every summer I went to a place, uh, and in this place uh, there was an artisan who used to build uh, small shoes with high heels for small kids. Mine was also when I was quite little. So mine was actually from my mother. Um, she had every nameable shoe you could possibly imagine in her wardrobe. So heels and sneakers and boots and everything. And I remember as a young girl just playing around and trying them on and all of that. They are two. They're standard issue. We have them from birth. We use them all day, every day. Our feet are the part of the body that we use the most but they're also part of the body that we treat with the least care. Technically, we spend our lives stepping on them. However, they can teach us a lot about ourselves. Just think of the way we walk. Young people have a brisk, confident step, while older people are more uncertain and unsteady on their feet. Try it for yourself. Focus on the walk of some people around you in the street and try and guess their age without looking at their face. Your guess won't be very far off. Think about it. When we're in a group, we tend to point the dominant foot towards the person we consider most interesting. Or if someone taps their foot while you're talking or raises it, just stop talking and say goodbye, because your friend clearly wants to leave. Yes, feet are sincere. The health of the foot can help us understand the health of the whole body. In simple terms, the toes correspond with the upper body, whereas the heel corresponds with the lower body. Shoes can also say a lot about our personalities, especially women's shoes. For example, some say women that wear sneakers are confident. Women that wear heels, they're unpredictable. Women that wear flip-flops, they're spontaneous. Women that wear ballet, well, they're naive. Women that wear sandals, they're cheerful. And they say women that wear wedges, well, they can be real man-eaters. But is any of this true? Siamo matte per le scarpe, we are crazy for shoes. What is so special about shoes? For me, it's about the fact that it doesn't matter if you're tall or short or bigger or smaller, shoes are always going to fit. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely why for me. How much time does it take you to choose a pair of shoes and why? <laughs> I always think it's love at first sight. You see the shoe and you must have it. So for me, it's quite quick. Um, but there are some women that do take their time. It has to be the perfect shoe. What do you look for when you choose a new pair of shoes? What are the main features that are important for you? 
For me, it's about style, of course, it's got to look good, but it also has to be comfortable, especially if you're in PR and you're running around all day, you've got to be able to wear them from beginning to end. And what about the color? For me, it's important the color that matches with the clothes I'm wearing. Of course, it's got to look good with what you're wearing, but I love a black pair of, a, a good black pair of shoes. So. Perfect for yeah. every, everything, every everything. time, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong with a black pair of shoes. Would you ever ask a man, let's say your boyfriend, your husband or your friend, to choose a shoe for you? He can pay for them, but he can't yeah, pick yeah. them. <laughs> I can take them to the shoe, and see, uh, to the shoe shop and yes, say, this is for exactly. me, and you can just Yeah, but it's my it. choice, right? <laughs> Definitely. Can you imagine the amount of technology that goes into making your shoes? No, you can't, and I can't either. But today, that's going to change because my girlfriend and I need some new shoes. So I've come to the JX store here on Oxford Street in London to buy the best shoes from a technical and aesthetic point of view to suit my needs and the needs of her. Want to come with me? Let's do this. Good afternoon, sir. Hi there, how are you? Uh, not bad, how are you? Very good, thank you. I'm after a, a, some shoes for my girlfriend and myself. Perfect. And I understand this is the right place to be. Definitely you are in the right place. So, I want to show you this product. The name of this product is Amphibiox. Okay. We are very proud in the company for these items since it's a fully waterproof shoes. And it's amphibious? Yes. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Like the, the frog of the shoe world. <laughs> Even better, because you've got the, the membrane, which is not only sealed on the sole, but as well on the upper material. Yeah. This will help you to keep your feet dry with all the atmosphere condition. You cannot check the weather outside. Okay. Just wear it and go out. Look, do you have this in a ladies as well? Okay. So, that's the shoes I want to show you. Right. The name of the shoes is Nebula. A nebula. nebula? Nebula. Like a cloud. The right word to describe the shoes uh, is made to breathe. It's made, made to, to breathe. breathe. Okay. Because as you can see, in this case, uh, different than the other shoes I showed you before, mm. the, you got full size membrane right. with the extra hole with, and with the net breathing system. Okay. This to give you a breathability 360 degrees, not just on the, on the sole. Okay. So, uh, so if my girlfriend has uh, very smelly feet. These are the shoes to, to give We her. keep the feet very dry yeah? and very cool. So I can say so they no yes. longer smell. Yeah? No. Happy days, that's brilliant. Um, and now how about for um, the smarter occasion? So, these are the shoes I would like to show you. Nice, okay. Very stylish, fashion, your girlfriend will love it. Oh, these are, these are ideal. This, this would look great on her. So, uh, do these still have the, uh, the same membrane? That As the all the Geox shoes, you got the breathable system. Yeah. So she will have happy feet too. So if uh, you know we're dancing in a ballroom or something, her, her feet can breathe. Perfect. Brilliant. Plus, very comfortable inside, so better than this. Keeps her happy. That's fantastic. Uh, well, I'm going to take all of these. Um, so yeah, take me to the film. Perfect. What are the most important shoes in your life? I remember when I got my very first promotion, uh, when I'd started my career, and I went out and bought the most amazing pair of Prada heels, and they're still in my cupboard today, and it brings back great memories. My whole wardrobe marks a different time in my life. For example, recently, um, I moved from Sydney, Australia, which is very much high heels every day at work, to London, which is very much sneakers, because you're running around all the time and the city's so big. So my wardrobe has completely transformed from com all high heels and pumps and stilettos to amazing, good-looking trainers. Even if I run, I cannot get rid of high <laughs> heels. I love high heels. Uh, I brought this because this is very comfortable and, and black is a color that you can use, it can oh, fit nice. every cloth, but uh, I prefer even higher heels. <laughs> and as I told you, I cannot, I never get rid of my shoes. The higher, the better for you, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. No, because I think that even if you're tall and you have long legs, but then, I mean, it makes you feel better. Your they figure give, is... Yeah. Yes, they give you a great shape and they give women confidence when they walk. When you see someone in, in flat shoes compared to in heels, their walk is completely, completely different. different. Um, so I definitely agree with you. Scarpe, scarpe, scarpe. What an obsession. Shoes are not only a way to clothe the feet, they can also be a real obsession, especially for women. To quote the great shoe lover Marilyn Monroe, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Here are our top five interesting facts about shoes. 
the most expensive shoes ever sold were the ruby red slippers worn by Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, which sold at auction for a whopping $660,000. The largest collection of shoes owned is by Ameldo Marcos, who owns 3,000 400 pairs of shoes. Now lined up, that is 782 meters, the height of two Eiffel Towers. Does that put it into perspective? Dreaming about shoes can have various meanings. If you are wearing them, it means that you are well grounded. If you are wearing a pair of shoes that don't fit, it means that your actions are not consistent with your personal thoughts or convictions. And losing or forgetting shoes means that you are not prepared for the next step in your life. Sneakers are called sneakers because the rubber sole doesn't make any noise while walking, allowing people to walk without being noticed. Spies must have had a hard time before the invention of rubber. It's a myth that sweat makes your feet smell bad. Sweat is naturally odorless, but when a foot is enclosed in a shoe, sweat encourages bacteria to multiply, thus producing the bad smell. The problem is the foot has over 250,000 sweat glands. It's the part of the body that sweats the most. So it's easy to understand why Geox invented the breathable membrane. Experience pure Italian goodness. The real test of Italy. Experience pure Italian goodness. The real test of Italy. shoes. Elegant. I'm not into shoes. Immaculately polished. Expensive. Really cool. Stylish. It's top of the range. Chic. Sophisticated. Our daughter-in-law loves in Italian shoes. And what will be the next shoe trend? Next season is actually all about crazy shoes. So uh, these fashion weeks this past month has been all about different crazy, chunky statement pieces. Um, quite difficult to walk in, but definitely, definitely unique. And what are your favorite types of shoes? High heels, same as you. <laughs> I'm a girl after high heels. <laughs> I think that high heels will never go out of fashion. No. You know, something about the toes can change. True. Pointy, curved, yes. yeah, completely, but the actual heel itself. But what about the, this ear toe? It's, is it uh, pointy or round? What, what? This last season it was actually round, but next season it's everything you can imagine. It's all about being different. And you know that in ancient Greece, actors in tragedies wore sandals with higher soles than comedy actors because the actors in tragedies felt superior I've never heard such a it's thing. It's so interesting, isn't it? Apparently, they also, um, in ancient times, they used to show their wealth, uh, dependent on what type of fabric the shoes were made out of. So if a shoe was made of wood, apparently you were the wealthiest in the area. Uh, and if it was made of fabric, you were the least wealthy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Strictly Come Testing, the Italian Factor Quiz hosted by me, Ivan Berry. And today, we want to find out what the general public know about feet and shoes. Are you ready? Is it true King Edward II declared the inch the official measurement of the shoe? Might be true. I'm gonna say true. False? <laughs> False. True. False. King Edward II actually declared the barley corn to be the official measurement of the shoe. And for your information, one inch is equivalent to three barley corn. Is it true that the Sun King invented high heels? I'm gonna say true to that one. I'm going to go with true. <laughs> False? Um... <laughs> true. Or so it seems, as he was, well, rather short. Is it true that the Egyptians were the first to invent the distinction between the left and right shoe? Hmm. Definitely true. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> False? False. The invention of the distinction between the left and right shoe is actually attributed to the North Americans. The first pair of shoes to include a left and right was invented in Philadelphia in 1818. Before that, well, I guess everyone had two left feet. Is it true that wedge heels were invented in China for rice pickers? Ooh. That's wrong. Um. False. True? False. 
They were created by Italian designer Salvatore Ferragamo in the 1940s because Italian trade was scarce and the steel needed to make heels was unavailable. What were, in your opinion, the main developments of the shoe through history? Well, I'm definitely not a shoe historian, but I'm very grateful for the developments to date. Uh, there's really smart brands out there, such as Geox, that have got amazing technology that allow for both comfort and style. So Geox, for example, have invented this patented technology called the membrane, which allows your foot to breathe, but at the same time, it doesn't allow water to penetrate. So your foot can stay dry, uh, but at the same time, it's very comfortable. So. And Clever. if you were to define it in one word, what would it be? Revolutionary. E la mia famiglia produce vini da tre generazioni. Noi esportavamo vini in tutto il mondo con il marchio La Gioiosa Villa Sandi e mio padre mi convinse un giorno di rappresentare i vini della nostra famiglia in una fiera del vino che si teneva a Rino negli Stati Uniti. Io sono andato e alla fine ho deciso di fare una passeggiata nel deserto del Nevada. Prima di cominciare questa passeggiata ho cambiato le mie scarpe e ho utilizzato le scarpe con le sole di gomma. E durante questo cammino ho cominciato a soffrire con i miei piedi per il calore. E col coltellino ho fatto un buco nella sola destra e un buco nella sola sinistra, creando una ventilazione. Quando sono ritornato in Italia e ho cominciato a studiare il sistema perché quando pioveva l'acqua non potesse entrare. Questa è una sola di gomma dove abbiamo fatto tutta una serie di forellini. Perché non entri acqua, nella parte interna della suola abbiamo applicato questa membrana. La membrana è fatta di tanti piccoli canalini, che si vedono al microscopio, più piccoli della molecola dell'acqua. L'acqua non passa, il vapore, che è 700 volte più piccolo della molecola dell'acqua, passa. Questo è il reale beneficio della nostra innovazione e i piedi sono sempre asciutti. Geox rappresenta una rivoluzione nel mondo della calzatura. Oggi il 95% dell'umanità usa le scarpe con le sole di gomma e tutte le scarpe con le sole di gomma hanno problemi igienici. Geox è risolti attraverso la traspirazione. So, do you love Italy? Of course, it's a silly question. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you like about Italy? Okay, three things. The food, the fashion and the people. In your opinion, what are the main qualities and flaws of Italians? Style is definitely a good quality. Uh, I'm going to choose not to say anything about the flaws. <laughs> <laughs> and so what are the characteristics of Italian brands in general? Again, style, uh, but also definitely the quality. Uh, you can always rely on the quality of Italian brands. And do you find yourself drawn to Italian products and do you have any at home? Completely, always at the top of my shopping list, definitely. And you know Geox very well, an Italian company and the leader in the footwear industry. In your opinion, what is so Italian about Geox? They have managed to combine technology and style in an amazing way. So that's very Italian. So we want word Italy is style. Style. <laughs> stylish, definitely. Italy is stylish. Italy is a country of great inventors and innovators. The principal example is Leonardo da Vinci. In fact, our country has a tremendous creativity. Think about the Italian mode, the Italian design, the Italian style. Italian Factor per Geox è lo stile abbinato alla tecnologia. Per esempio abbiamo creato una tecnologia per tutti coloro che amano le scarpe con le suole di cuoio. Il cuoio ha un problema che non è impermeabile. Abbiamo inserito nella parte interna della suola di cuoio una membrana. In questa maniera quando piove noi abbiamo i piedi sempre asciutti. Ed infine abbiamo creato la giacca che respira inserendo dei forellini nella parte delle spalle. Perché? Perché il nostro corpo, per un principio fisico che viene definito effetto cammino, dal basso sale. Con questa tecnologia noi miglioriamo la traspirazione 
del 40% su dati scientifici. Tutte queste tecnologie che voi avete visto sono applicate con lo stile e la moda italiana. Quindi abbiamo collezioni per il bambino, per l'uomo, per la donna, per i giovani, in modo da essere capaci di soddisfare tutta la famiglia. Candace, before you leave, we have one test to see how Italian you are. It is something that we do with all our guests. It's a very simple game. You have to repeat a tongue twister. It's very difficult. It's difficult <laughs> even in Italian. Okay. But I will, I will, I will uh, speak very slowly so okay. that you can repeat. We can try. We can try. Porta aperta. Porta aperta. Per chi porta. Per chi porta. <laughs> Chi non porta? Chi non porta? Parta pur. Parta pur. <laughs> Very good. And the meaning is doors are open for who contributes. And who doesn't contribute may as well leave. Because in Italian, the word uh, door yep. has the same sound and is written in the same way of the verb to bring. Okay. So it's a game between uh, door and bring. So thank you for the last effort and uh, for being with us today. And uh, generally speaking, really the last question, what do you think the Italian factor is? Creativity. Thank you, Candace. And as for us, there is still much made in Italy to discover. See you soon. And remember, if you don't know what makes something special, it's the Italian factor. Porta porta perky porta keen non porta pato por. Now it's your turn. Porta aperta per porta aperta per si porta. Porta aperta per si porta. Porti porta perky porta. Porta aperta per si porta. Keen non porta party per. Chi non porta parta por. Chi porta? Chi non porta parta por. Chi non porta parta por. Experience pure Italian goodness, the real test of Italy.